Hey guys, welcome back to the Navani Herbals YouTube channel. And if you're new here, I just wanna welcome you to our page. This channel is all about herbs, self-care and wellness. So you can find different videos about these topics here every Tuesday and Friday. So today's video that I wanna talk about is kind of a rant. And the reason why it's rant, a rant is because it's something I'm currently like experiencing and it kind of inspired me to want to make this video today. So the topic that I want to talk about is the power of forgiveness and how this came up is for one, we took a huge loss with the death of Kobe Bryant, like we really did. It really shook the whole world for real. Like, that's crazy. That's like tragic for real. But something that I saw as a reaction to his death, it really made me look at forgiveness in a different perspective. So I saw a lot of posts on Facebook and Instagram saying like, oh, life's too short to hold grudges against people. You need to forgive. Or even like, I'm not trying to put nobody on blast, but somebody actually inboxed me yesterday that I have not talked to in years and literally forgot all about. And they were like, oh, I forgive you. And I'm like, what? So that's why I'm like, okay, forgiveness is clearly a thing that I need to talk about and get off my chest. So I wanted to make this video today. I wanted to clear up a lot of myths about forgiveness, okay? And like, seriously. All right, so first of all, let's talk about what forgiveness is not because this is something I feel like people always throw up this forgiveness word, but they don't really go into detail about what that actually is. So forgiveness is not um, going back to somebody that hurt you deeply, abused you, manipulated you. So do not let somebody say, oh, life is too short to hold grudges, so you need to forgive this person that beat you, beat you or raped you or something like that. Like, no, because that's not even what forgiveness really truly is. And if somebody does use that as a way for you to reconnect with somebody that is detrimental to you, that's called manipulation, okay? Not forgiveness. The second thing is, Real forgiveness versus fake forgiveness. Fake forgiveness comes from a place of guilt. So that's basically, like I was saying kind of before, how people would say, oh, you need to forgive or else you're not going to get your blessings or you need to forgive or else you're going to be miserable. It's like a conditional thing. Like you either you do this or you're going to be withheld love or whatever you are seeking, okay? Fulfillment, whatever. That also is not forgiveness. So if you are forgiving people just for the sake of saying you forgave them so that you can start getting your blessings or whatever, that's not real forgiveness. You'll know it's a real forgiveness when, when you think about what happened, you don't feel pain attached to it, okay? And the second thing about real forgiveness is that forgiveness is not a, has nothing to do with the other person. It literally has nothing to do with them. Like, they don't even have to say sorry. They don't even have to know that you forgave them because it was never even about them. And... People say this all the time, but they don't really go into detail about what that means. Everybody say, oh, um, forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you. And if you um, don't forgive people, it's basically like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. But what do that even really mean? 
Like nobody breaks it down. So I am about to break it down for you in this video. And if you have any comments or you have a different perspective on this, please leave it in the comments because this is a deep topic. Okay. So first of all, if somebody did something to hurt you, that's valid. That is valid. However, the pain that you're feeling is your pain. It's in your body. It's your responsibility to heal. And by holding somebody else accountable for trying to soothe your pain, by waiting on them for an apology or waiting on them to make it right, you're basically handing over your power. You're basically saying, I'm not going to feel good in my life. I can't move forward until you do A, B, C, and D. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first part. That's, that's the main part that is key because that brings the power back into you and not into them. It doesn't matter what they're doing, especially if it's somebody that's highly patholog pathological and doesn't have an awareness of what they're doing or don't give a da dag on what they're doing or how they affect people. You'll be waiting forever for them to say sorry or to mean it. Okay, so no, we're not giving our power away to people like that. It's not about them forgiveness, okay? And then the next part that I want to touch on, and please don't let this go over your head because this is very complex way of thinking. And it's going to definitely take a mind shift for you to totally grasp what I'm about to say. So basically, if you think about, if you think about, energy in the world and how God works. First of all, God does not work from a place of fear and pain. He works out of love. So if you think about the situation that you went through with this other person and you shift your mind from being a victim of that circumstance to what did I learn from this? There's no way that you can hold a grudge against that person because if it were not for this person in this situation, you would not have been granted the opportunity for yourself to grow as a person and get to the next level. So for real, for real, you don't need them to say sorry or none of that because I low key have gratitude for you. Because like I said, if it wasn't for you, I would have never experienced this. I would have never knew how to navigate this type of situation. I would have never have been able to reflect myself and see where I played a role. And I would have never got this chance to grow as a person if this situation did not come up. Like, period. Okay? So, when you get to that point to where... You're taking your power away from them and putting it back in yourself. And you're using this, this, less, this L and turning it into a lesson. There's no point of, of holding a grudge. Like, because for what? Like, literally, it neutralizes a negative emotion in a negative situation. And it turns it into a positive one. You know, so you don't have anything to forgive at that point. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, rewind this, play it back. But literally, that's really what it comes down to. And so that's the other reason why the forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. I really feel like God puts us through situations so that we can learn from them and He'll keep putting us through the same situation, just a different person until we learn what it is that we need to learn so that we can elevate to our next highest potential of ourselves. So what would I be mad at you for? You were just a, you were just a, basically a piece that God used, like a vessel that God used to help me maybe through a painful situation to wake up 
to something. It was never even about you. And a lot of the times when people do hurt you significantly like that, that it's really impacting you and it's the pain is stuck in your body to where you can't get over it. That was never even about you. That was their own internal war that they had going on. And it just came out on you because for one, people can only give you what's inside of them. People can only let out what's inside of them. So if they have a lot of pain inside of them, that's what's going to come out. And I don't know why you would expect anything other than that, which is another reason why you sh shouldn't have to wait for an apology to try to feel better and move on with your life. And like I said before, the pain that you're feeling in regards to this situation is your pain to feel. It's not their responsibility to fix it. And the reason why it's still pain inside of your body is because you still look at it in a way of a victim. You still look at it in a way of, oh my gosh, why did this happen to me? Blah, blah, blah. Instead of trying to find the lesson in that situation and growing from it. That's why it still hurts because after you find the lesson, after you grow from it, you literally come to peace with it and you literally just don't care. Like you, you just neutralized all that negative energy and you get set free. You literally get set free. And so that is why forgiveness is so powerful. It literally puts you in control of the whole situation. Anything can happen. Literally, there's like infinite amount of possibilities of things that can happen. And the only thing that you literally have control over is yourself and how you perceive things. And that's where your power is. So when you start to perceive things in a way that life is happening for me and not to me, you become so freaking powerful. You just, you don't have to do nothing. You just be, you're just a powerful person, just period. And you're not walking around wounded with all these all these negative emotions and traumatized and just broken and wounded because of what somebody else did. Now, it does take a while, depending on what it is. It does take a while. And some things feel like, okay, well, how do you explain that? What lesson could I possibly have learned from this? And trust me, I have been through multiple Situations where I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what the lesson was in this. However, it took years later for me to figure out why that happened to me back in the day. And if it wasn't for those situations back in the day, I would have never been to the place that I am now. Like literally that had to happen for me. It literally had to happen for me. And... It made me a, I'm, I'm at a totally different level than I would have been if that never happened. And not to give an excuse to the person I did it or the people that have done me wrong or anything like that. But it's just like, that was a lesson and you just didn't get the results right then and there. You don't know exactly why right then and there, but later on it came Something came up and it brought me back to all the way back in the day when the first incident happened and I knew this was the test. I knew this was the reason why that had to happen. And I took my lemon and I made it into lemonade and I am so much freer, so much more developed and so much happier now. And like I said, I give gratitude to what happened to me in the past. Not saying I'm giving gratitude to the people or that I have to reconnect with them, that I even have to speak to them or that they even have to know that I, I forgive the whole situation because it's not about them. It's about me. And this is my soul on this journey, on this earth at this specific time. And my only job here is to elevate my spirit. And that's it. And by me doing that, I am able to subconsciously allow other people around me to do the same exact thing. So that is why I wanted to make this video. Forgiveness is very powerful if it's coming from the right place. Forgiveness coming from a place of guilt or 
giving to get, I'm going to forgive you so that I can get blank, blank, blank. That's not real forgiveness. It's going to backfire. It's not going to work. Like, period. So, anyway, I just wanted to make this video. I really hope that this resonated with you. I hope that this could help you help a lot of people get over a few things that may have been holding them back from being their best self. And this is why I love this channel so much because your mental and spiritual health directly affects your physical health. So yes, you can drink all the herbal tea in the world, but if your mental and spiritual health is not being addressed also, it's not gonna matter how good of a diet you have or how much you exercise it's just it's not okay they all work together we're three-dimensional really more than that but that's a whole nother story we're body mind and spirit and all of those things need to be addressed okay so anyway thank you so much for listening to this video listening to me rant and um i look forward to making more videos like this more videos about herbs more videos about self-care and make sure that you subscribe, okay? So thank you.